Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. We have the iZoom Roto 8 Lite 3 pack apparently. I actually looked these up on YouTube and there were two other videos. One that was really lame. It's like, look, nothing, no spoken stuff, but it's like, yeah, okay, whatever. And anyways, the other one was a guy actually playing with these things with G.I. Joe's and it's like, well, that's kind of cool. So apparently these things have an adhesive backing as well as a magnet so you can attach either way. More permanent or just pop it on any metal surface and they should stick. So I got these over at uh, Dollarama for about four bucks or something like that. Four, four fifty around that area. And I thought, you know what? I like flashlight stuff and uh, you know, they're not rechargeable. That's for sure. I mean, come on, they're only a couple of bucks. Um, but you never know, might be something uh, worthwhile here. So I'm just gonna try and get one of these suckers out of the package for now, so we can see what it actually does. Apparently they're also 60 lumen, um, and uh, we can test that. Um, I do have my lumen tester machine after all. And just trying to get this thing to come out of there. Holy jumping, they ever wanna put this thing in for you? It's like nobody's gonna steal this out of the store. Okay, can we get the light out? I wonder how much more torture do we have to go through here? All right, oh, maybe? Seriously? That's stuck in there, holy cow. Um. We'll figure this out. Don't worry, don't worry. Hey, first time me, anyway. I think we're, oh, there's a little bit more progress. All right, let's just, so they do come apart. And uh, just pop that back together. Just snaps. So there's our adhesive backing here that we can just peel that off and, or we have the magnet. And uh, let me just see if I can rotate this stuff around a bit. Maybe we can stick it on something. Oh, look at that. Voila. All right. So, got a little pull tab here. And we just pull that out. And we should have power. We just rotate. And rotate. Oh, there we go. There we go. So we got some juice there. That's a lot of rotating just to turn that on and off. Yeah, so you turn it right to go off and left to turn it on. You just rotate the whole front top piece here. Get it to stay. Oh, I guess, yeah, if you screw it, yeah, it just screws down all the way until it stops. And it's on nice and solid. And apparently these things come apart so you can change the battery. So let's undo this and see how far we go. And voila. So there's part of the inside there. And we've got one battery sitting that way, two batteries sitting that way. So it uses uh, two 2032 batteries, which you can buy these as spares at the dollar store too. Um, I bought a, actually two three packs um, today. Um, I, I already had a bunch here. I use them on guitar tuners because they're cheap. Um, but um, yeah, now we've got to thread this thing back on the right, Ray. All right. Um, the package, when you read the front, is a little deceptive. It says um, each Rota 8 light includes two. Oh, okay, it says each one. Okay, so yeah, I guess it wasn't so deceptive. I didn't see the each part. I just saw the row to eight. So yeah, each one uses two CR2032 batteries, and that's it. And uh, they, uh, uh, detachable base, non-rolling design. Believe it or not, they actually don't even tell you how to change the freaking batteries on here. That is so stupid. Well, we figured out. You just turn it to the off position and just keep unscrewing it. It's eventually going to let go and that's it. 
So uh, anyways, let's see what kind of uh, light we can produce here. And voila, so we've got some light. And let's turn off the main lights in here. And that's actually not bad. That's, uh, that's pretty decent out of those two batteries. Ceiling shot. Not all that bright, but you know, I can see around here not too badly. And no, we're not going outside to see if we can light up a telephone pole from 400 feet away. It's not going to happen, okay? These are just like basic little lights to just give you a little bit of extra light in an area if you need it. And uh, then you're good to go. So let's uh, turn these back on. And uh, for a second here, we'll just turn this off. And I'm going to move my microphone out of the way. All right, about there. And let's get our lumen tester. They say 60 lumens, right? And the machine is somewhere around. There we go. All right. I don't need the screwdriver, don't need that. I do need this. Put her up on the stand. And power on. And uh, yeah, okay. Let's see if I can bring the camera enough on a down angle that hopefully you can see this. There we go, that should work fine. And turn this little puppy on. Well, it looks like we're about 63. 60. 56, 57. Yeah, so it's within specs. We'll, we'll let them have it at 60. We'll say that's 60. There's always plus or minus fudge room there. So yeah, I, I, I'd go for 60. So accurate advertisement. Real pain in the butt to get out of the packaging though. The first one was bad enough because at least that one you could flick the thing out and do the try me thing. Thank goodness somebody didn't do it. Um, these also have the same little stickers you're gonna have to pull out to activate the batteries. <laughs> but these are gonna be a lot more of a nightmare to get out of the rest of the package. We're not doing that on camera. But we do have the one here and it does rotate. Um, two directions there so you can kind of set it up like this if you want and you know we know the magnum part works really good so you know at least it holds its own weight of the the machine so that that's pretty good um are they cheaply built well of course they are i mean come on they're under five bucks but they seem to work okay you know you just got to remember you got to turn that all the way until it stops and then it stays on and then you just have to go you know, maybe I would go probably about three quarters to a full turn toward the off direction. So you know how they say lefty loosey, righty tighty? Well, if you turn righty to go tighty, it lights up. If you go lefty to go loosey, it turns off. So there you go. Pretty simplified that way. And changing the batteries, just keep turning that thing, you know, counterclockwise. It'll pop apart and just put the new batteries in, in the same direction. They just stack with the same way and away you go. That's it. Too simple, man. So, for no instructions, now you got them. So, do I recommend these things? Well, if you can make use of something like this, sure, why not? I think for, you know, under five bucks, um, you get three of them. It's a pretty good deal. Uh, like I said, they are at Dollarama. Um, now, I'm in Canada, so I don't know if the U.S. has a Dollarama or not. Um, you may find them at other grocery stores in the States. So that's very possible. Um, it's also very likely that the videos that I saw were some guys from the States um, Because we definitely don't have these in six packs uh, At Dollarama and I've never seen anything like this in any grocery store period uh, in my country before so <coughs> but Of course, I'm in Canada. So who knows where stuff is, right? Um, I definitely have never seen anything like this at Radio Shack or Best Buy uh, or the source so you know but I think that they're okay. I think that you just have to realize that, you know, you're paying $4, $4.50 for three of these things. Um, at least if they do die uh, for the batteries, it's really easy to replace them. Really cheap. A pack of three is like a buck and a quarter. 
you know, so buy two packs and then you've got enough batteries to do all three lights because each one's going to use two of these. So, um, you guys want a star rating, don't you? Oh, man, I've got to tell you, where do I put these things? Um, well, you know what? The magnet strength is actually really good. Surprisingly enough, it is actually really good. Um, by the way, if the magnet does pop off, because the one video that the guy has up there where he's showing these things, one of his magnets did come off, so I guess the glue had let go. Um, if the magnet does kind of get left behind, just take a dab, literally, that's all you need is like a drop of crazy glue, and then put the magnet back on the center, and squish it down and hold it for about four seconds, and then let it sit for about an hour to cure up, and yeah, it'll probably never come apart again. Um, if you want a more permanent hold, because you need that, um, then just peel the white piece off of here and you've got double-sided sticky tape and way you go. Perfect. Uh, that'll work great. Um, and like I say, you can, you can angle these things too. And you know, if you want to take them off the base, because it might be easier for you, you can just pop them off the base. I did this once already because it came apart that way. Uh, there we go. Just got to spread the one foot a little bit. But they do come off the base, no problem, and uh, so you do whatever. But yeah, um, they're within manufacturer specs for their lumen rating, so definitely uh, they're they're on. So so that's good. I didn't expect it to be um, within spec. I thought maybe slightly under, maybe slightly over. Who knows? Uh, but that's fresh batteries will do that for you. Just got to do that a little bit more. Um, Lack of instructions does suck. It's taking a ding, man. It has to. Because I don't actually... Uh, let me verify that first. Swivel 60 degrees, 30 left or 30 right. That is definitely verified. There are no instructions on how to change the batteries. That's pathetic. Hmm. I guess there wouldn't be anything on the inside of the package somewhere. Oh no, that's all freaking glued together. So yeah, definitely not going to happen. So yeah, lack of instructions. Okay, I ding it. Nothing is perfect. I ding for lack of instructions. I give you a four out of five. They're really decent, I think. I mean, but again, remember, this is plastic. Um, you know, you turn it until it stops. Don't be afraid to turn the stupid thing um, until it stops on its own. And then it's definitely going to stay on solid. Um, you unscrew it, maybe a turn, turn and a half, and it'll stay off that way. Um... I think they're all right. I think for, for the money and for what they are, they're all right. I think that they sh do shine um, acceptable amount of light for being 60 lumens. You know, that's acceptable. At least you can kind of sort of see things, you know, in your room or wherever you need to. Um, pretty ideal that way. What kind of uses? Well, that's a good question. They show it like over, over top like bookcase thing here. Um, they've got another picture here lighting up a guy's workspace. Seriously? Yeah, that's right over top of his tool bench. I'm going to say that's probably a little on the bogus side. It ain't going to light it up that well. They show it pretty bright, so I'd probably ignore the bottom picture. The top picture looks a little bit more realistic, um, but they're not, they're not going to be super bright. Okay, it's 60 lumens. 60 lumens is not like bright, bright, right? But it does an alright job, so that's the thing. So anyway, um, yeah, four out of five, I'd say give them a shot. And if they can work for you for what your purpose is, then I would say that, yeah, in that case, it'd be a great buy. Um, just don't expect to light up the backyard at night, because it ain't going to happen. Um, you'd be lucky to get five feet in front of you, maybe six. And yeah, you're not going to be very bright anyways. It's going to be very dull, very dull light. Um, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much solves this one. So pretty decent though. Like I said, if they work for you, get them. They don't work for you, well, don't even bother. Um, but I, I would still try them out. I mean, what do you got to lose for four bucks, right? Like seriously, this would actually come in, I think, really handy in the car. 
um, let's say your your overhead uh, inner interior light blows right and for all no reason just all of a sudden dies on you if you got one of these in the glove box ready to go at least if you needed some light inside the car this would actually provide you ample lighting probably more than likely for whatever you need to do inside the car that you would need that light for so it could work for that purpose pretty good so might be worth a look at Give it a shot and see. Let us know in the comments below, by the way, if you've ever gotten these from the dollar store or wherever you happen to live, if you've gotten this sort of thing, let me know what you think about them, what you've used them for. Did you find them useful? Or are they just pieces of royal trash to you? Everybody has an opinion. I'd like to hear yours. And in the meantime, thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya. Oh yeah, this way. See ya.